um, you know, obviously we'll start talking less as we hear more audio comes through. Okay, sure. What will those things sound like? Uh, so you'll hear TCC, you know, um, you know, more and more calls. They'll be talking to more in the control with individuals. They'll be talking to people. Go ahead, sir. Looks like somebody over the terminal uh, TCS window. Yeah, nobody else should have the TCS GUI. If you have it open, please close it at this time. So right, they're just working through some small things between all the monitors. You know, they're they're opening and closing certain things that need to be closed inside the rocket. You know, from the stand. Um, you know, they're going to completely secure the stand with everything that needs to be done before the hot fire. And really, it's just the final preps before we do um, initiate engine start. Okay. Again, you are all hearing what we're hearing. We're pausing whenever the test conductor is speaking or other people uh, in the control center are speaking because we're trying to learn and what's to happening to the rocket. On my mark. It sounds like about five minutes away on Must their mark. Again, remind us who's the one in our ear. What's that role? So that's our green run test conductor, and he's kind of been um, the one in control of all the green run test cases, not just this one leading up to this point. So he has a great working relationship um, with all those that are on the test team. And so um, obviously right now we're in T minus five minutes. Um, you know, so there'll be a lot of activation going up until we do hot fire. So, you know, like we said, Capu spin up, um, you know, move to internal power, purge sequence, and then we'll move into in engine hey, activation. It's all going to come pretty quick. I'm going to pause you for a second. Uh, TCC violation, we're holding at T minus four minutes, 46. All right, copy that. Yeah, BTD, PEA, it's the uh, Delta P sensors. Okay. Yeah, Copy that, and we'll uh, wait till we get to the uh, hold at uh, T minus uh, 440. We We're in the hold go, time. We're in the go, and if you want to go ahead and use that pre plan. DLH, let's uh, go to manual mode and try to dial in the lead delta B, please. If this is the right time, can you break down what we just heard? So they're moving into some, some final sequencing. Um, obviously, you can see um, on the flame bucket, they've now initiated max water flow into that flame bucket, so you'll be seeing Don't a lot more mist coming reminder, from that We do bucket. have two minutes, 35 seconds uh, for the hold, so. It looks like you need to come so down. So we are two minutes, 35 seconds on the, on the, before the one minute and 40 hold, from what I understand. Um, so obviously that one minute, 40 hold will be We're the last minute, little bit the timer. Um, before we do start, uh, start up the engine, so it's very exciting. <laughs> <I'll> say, <laughs> You're yeah. getting excited. Yeah, I can absolutely. hear everyone around us getting excited. This is great. And what we're going to make sure we do is we have to make sure we're all being You're safe clear to, here. Uh, reset that whenever you get ready. We are at uh, one minute and 30 seconds in the whole timer. Okay, if you're in the band, go ahead and reset MPS 17, please. So we're going to go ahead and take a step back. We're going to put our ear protection on. Uh, so we'll be moving into internal power. Um, and again, putting our ear protection on, ahead, listening in from please here on out, and observing this major Capitalist, milestone on America's and, uh, return uh, to the moon with Artemis. Let's go the sequencer. Sequencer activated. Resume and count on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. Now we're counting down. The sequencer is counting. up on T minus four minutes on my mark. Mark. And T minus three minutes on my mark. Mark.
coming up in T minus two minutes on my mark. Mark. on T minus one thirty. Coming up on T minus one minute on my mark. Mark. If um, go for all personnel, report that you're ready to go. PEA. Go. AEA. HEA. Go. REA. Go. NTC. Where'd you go? All right, we're in ALS. Your engine, sir. And we're in the plus count. Engine start. We're in the plus count. Call for south, please continue monitor your system. And uh, grass is in control. Gimbal profile. DTG is FD. Gotcha. I do see some TCC violations on the rest. And we got a shutdown. Okay, all personnel. Uh, shutdown looks like uh, let's all go to page uh, 656. Page 656, please. All personnel, it's going to be post hot fire to post hot fire to shut down securing operations in page 656. PTD, I need you to verify with the engine guy. Yeah, sorry about shut that. Down standby. Yeah, all personnel, that does take us to the last page there on page uh, 632. AR1, if you wouldn't, on step 4.241, please verify course stage engine 1s and 4 have uh, shut down for that step, and we have a safe engine shutdown. We are in post shutdown standby engines 1 through 4.
We just saw the core stage of SLS fire up. Of course, we also heard some uh, test conductor come in, so we want to go straight to Alex. Alex, can you please describe to us First of all, what we saw and then what we heard. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, we had a very successful initiation of the engines. Um, you know, our, the beginning of our thrust profile there when we were firing for the first minute or so, um, you know, we obviously were getting some really good data coming through. Um, you know, but like we said earlier, you know, this, this is a test. You know, we have test commit criteria and we have certain boundaries that we have to keep all the, oper all the operations under. So, you know, we really are trying to make sure that, you know, everything's operating properly and safely. So, you know, the test team was kind of seeing some data that they might not like. Um, and so obviously, you know, our engines were shut down ahead of the eight minute scheduled time frame. But we do have a lot of good data to go look at. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can move on from here and maybe get, you know, see what's going to go on further. So I was looking at your face when that started lighting up and that was incredible. We saw the cloud forming. We both saw rainbows yeah. just forming right over our side. Just how did it feel in those first few seconds? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, it never really gets old. That feeling that you get, you know, in your chest or, you know, seeing, you know, just how powerful those rockets are when they're testing. So um, obviously, you know, it was an awesome thing to see, you know, and, uh, you know, I can't wait to get the core stage to Kennedy and uh, get ready for launch. And you told us, you know, over eight minutes, we might have had tons and tons, terabytes worth of data, but we already have data just from right now. What are they going to do with that right away? Right. And so just like all of our other green run tests, you know, our, we have teams that are going to go and break down that data uh, and, and kind of see what we're seeing in our profiles. Right. And so I mean, that all goes into the, you know, the, the profile that we'll use for launch eventually at Kennedy. So, I mean, obviously there's a lot of things to look at the data. You know, we kind of talked about, you know, over the span of our green run testing, we have roughly 800 uh, terabytes of data and that's a lot of data you know we're talking about it's it's, it's hard to grasp how much data that is so you know that we'll, we'll obviously take the time to dig through everything um, and then obviously uh, have a path forward from there and I know it happened really fast but can you tell us what the people were talking about that we could hear from uh, the test conductor in that audio right so after we did uh, engine initiation you know they're kind of going through and monitoring everything right so obviously once we 